Honeywell, uh, not to be outdone by Oliver Schlemmer with his with his one pipe, uh, gives us the unique valve, and the unique valve was was indeed unique, in that it had this Y pattern inside of it, and the Y pattern gate would allow water to flow into the radiator, and there's just this baffle that sticks inside the radiator, so the water would flow into the radiator and come back out through the same side, and if you didn't want heat, you just move the Y pattern quarter turn, and the water would now bypass the radiator and go on to the next online. This is what you see in the real world. So there's the Honeywell unique valve, the supply, the return. And this is a, a gorgeous old radiator. Note, notice that they put the air vent up here because again, it's gravity hot water heat. So the radiator vent could be on either side. It really didn't matter. The air is going to rise to the top and you could vent it over here, vent it over there. It didn't matter. This picture was posted on our website by a homeowner who just bought this house and wanted to know what the heck this thing was. So there's the Honeywell unique valve, and notice here, in this case, the air vent is way out on the end. And the guy told us that with that little baffle that only goes in about just past the first section, when he gives that a quarter turn, the radiator very, very quickly heats. So gravity hot water heat will move very quickly through a radiator if the piping is all right. So it doesn't take long to get this radiator hot, even though it's as big as it is. And again, if you ever see something, you don't know what it is, just take a picture of it like this guy did. Bring it to heatinghelp.com, post it on the wall, and somebody's going to answer you within minutes and tell you exactly what it is you're looking at. And the site probably also has the literature for that product.